public service announcement, guys. Lee and I will be at the Wisconsin Muskie Expo this coming weekend, which, which is March 6th, 7th, and 8th. Uh, on Saturday at 2.30, Lee and I will actually be giving a seminar, so please stop by the booth. I'll have my brand new Boilermaker spinner bait as well. Lee will have a bunch of baits as well, so please stop by. Just come and uh, chat some muskies with us. It'll be a good time. Now, back to the video. What is up, guys? Welcome to another video. We are floating. I'm out today with Mr. Noah Humphill himself from Madison Angling Guide Service. Uh, recently, Noah's been posting videos. Yeah, on the old YouTube. Got the YouTube channel fired up. It's been a long time, actually been about four years, but uh, been very inspired by Mr. Roberto <laughs> to kind of get off my butt, start filming again. You know, guiding, oh, guiding yeah. full time. So much cool stuff happens in the boat. Oh yeah. And uh, it's just, it's a shame to let any of that stuff get away. So I'm going to be posting weekly videos. Uh, it'll be nothing like what Robbie can do editing wise. It will get better and better as we go, but uh, kind of just educational stuff, going yeah. on a few adventures, but showing you guys how I do stuff, how we catch pressured fish. Yes, and, especially yeah. if you're in, in Wisconsin. Uh, just yep. seeing these are going to be, you know, current videos uh, during some, you know, some good bites. So pay attention to Noah's YouTube channel. I'm going to leave all of his information in the link below. But today we are floating. We're on the river. Obviously a dam behind us. Uh, we're doing some sauger walleye fishing. We're gonna do the fish with teeth. I live in a river program today. Uh, yep. Probably, I mean, it's really, really early. Uh, yeah, what cold is water, temps? 32 and a half. Obviously not because it would be frozen, but uh, <laughs> low, low 30s, probably 33, 34, 35 degrees. So it's early, uh, first part of March. And right now it's mostly males that are kind of pushed into these spawning areas. The females will work their way in, but there are some nice fish too. So yeah. right now it's kind of a numbers game. The size will come in the next few weeks, but- It doesn't matter. It's doesn't not matter. ice fishing. We're not ice fishing. We're in the boat, we're catching fish and it's gonna be a whole lot of fun. <laughs> I'm excited to start casting. Let's get them. All right, what are you rolling here, Noah? We are rolling drop shot program to start things off this morning. Just a number two drop shot hook, fathead minnow. 3 8 ounce drop shot weight because we are fishing a little bit of current and we're fishing about 20 to 25 feet of water. And your favorite medium light spinning rod. I got mine spooled up with some eight pound fluoro. And it's super hard. This is really, you gotta pay attention guys. This is real technical stuff. You cast it out and you let it hit the bottom and you basically count till 10 and you got a fish. All right, I hope that's we'll the see. case. We'll see. <laughs> hey, first cast of the day. Let's see what happens. There's one. All right, there's a sturgeon. All right, so I felt the pickup, the tap tap. Give it a little bit of line. Fish out. Got him. <laughs> All right. Jumbos. First, yeah, absolute monster. First walleye of the morning, just a little male up here, staging, getting ready to spawn. Hooked perfect right in the corner of the mouth with that drop shot. And that is why you don't set the hook. You basically, just want to load the rod tip up. That hook will find a soft spot in the corner of the fish's mouth. You hook them almost every time. All right, buddy, go do your thing. What the heck? Oh, I'm on. Double All up, right, double down. <laughs> All right. Okay. Gosh, this is fun. Yeah, he's a sauger. A sauger. I bet you that's going to be close. That's probably 14, almost 15. Yeah, they got to be 15 to keep here. Yeah, walleyes are 18 or bigger. Saugers are 15 or bigger. I bet you this guy's just about there double up craziness they've been fishing for like four minutes so this is good okay i got one <laughs> holy cow that bite is so subtle though walleye here we go this is this is good this is what you want to be doing in march fishing. sick of ice fishing season's closed on the inland lakes now we're just doing some walleye Uh, no, I am a double. <laughs> Jeez, this is nuts. This is ridiculous. <laughs> Robbie's is bigger than mine. <laughs> That's nuts. Awesome. All right, that feels pretty good. Just an angry walleye. Nice little walleye. Yeah, shit feels good to be casting. Nice 40 degree day. It is good to be in a boat. Lots of sorting if you want to try to catch anything to keep. But it is a magical time of year where you can have literally 100 fish days. All right, now I'll switch it up. Going artificial. So it definitely seems like some days, wow, did that guy get hooked. <laughs> Holy cow. 
And of course he's doing the arrowhead thing so I can't get in his mouth. But it seems like some days, a lot of times you can actually weed out smaller fish using artificials, especially blade baits. Blade baits are an awesome tool when you're catching a lot of kind of the same size fish. <laughs> and as you can tell, this guy was not getting off. He smoked that thing. Gorgeous little lower Wisconsin River walleye. But yeah, don't be afraid to switch things up. You know, a lot of people get kind of stuck in this rut of jig and minnow in the springtime. It's not always the most productive program. A lot of times blade baits are a great way to sort out some of the smaller fish. And, uh, and the drop shots, like you guys have seen, the drop shots are an awesome tool, especially early and when you have a lot of really cold water, cold fronts, cold nights. Reach for the drop shots, reach for the blade baits. Another wet sock. <laughs> <laughs> this one's actually fighting all right. I might switch to an artificial just to for you know losing minnows every fish is not the most fun thing in the world, but gosh, this is nuts. Okay. All right. What are you? Nice little walleye. I don't know what else to say really. <laughs> Come on. Huh. They are mean today. Oh, doubled up. <laughs> Peace. There's a fish that's so big, it's knock it just knocked out my sonar. It just knocked my sonar out. Look how big that is. I don't know. Yeah. Yep. Dinosaur. Yep. Definitely one of the hazards of fishing under a dam in the spring. You could hook just about anything. And I promise you this fish is not hooked in the mouth. Oh. Paddlefish. It is hooked in the mouth. It is actually hooked in the mouth. Yeah, it is. Um, I think we're going to be really careful with this fish. So that being said, if you read the Wisconsin fishing regs, there's absolutely nothing anywhere that says you can't take them out of the water, okay? But, oh, I think he just popped. Nope, nope, he's just wrapped up. Uh, sure. Yeah, why not? But anyway, there's there's nothing that says you can't. Oh, what the what heck? heck? It was a paddle fish and then turned into a catfish. What? <laughs> <laughs> that is the craziest thing I've ever seen in my life. That is the craziest thing I've ever seen. What just happened? Robbie, what was that? What the heck? That is the craziest thing I've ever seen in my life. Okay, that was that was absolutely bizarre. I what what just happened? That was a big paddlefish. That was a small one. I I don't know what happened. That, that was the craziest. I, so I had a paddlefish. It was like actually in the corner of the mouth. It popped off and a catfish grabbed the blade bait. Hooked in the mouth. Like what? How does that even happen? Huh. Oh boy. What do I got here? That's somebody big. The bottom turned alive. What do we have? I do have braid and 12 pound leader, so that's actually heavy. way heavier than normal. It's always a joy to run into one of these guys. All right, welcome. <laughs> well, that ain't good. <laughs> well, the beautiful thing is I'm not by myself this time. <laughs> no, we have boat control. <laughs> boat and control and no. Potentially, potentially a net. A net might happen, so. It's a beautiful thing. How's your wrist? <laughs> it's getting tired now. Oh, yeah. That's, oh, maybe we should just grab them. That's the uh, first paddle tail I've ever seen a person. Paddlefish. Paddlefish. Yeah, probably. I'm using a paddle tail. Ooh, that is so cool. Talk about a dinosaur. All right, Noah's gonna grab his back. We don't want to injure him in a net. No, we're gonna be really gentle with it. 
All right. You got him? All right. I'll grab the big cam. That is an American paddlefish. <laughs> All right. First, first paddle tail ever. <laughs> that is so awesome. <laughs> Alrighty, let's get him back in the water. Oh, man. That is so cool. You ready? Just like that. Bye bye, buddy. <laughs> Perfect. That was awesome. <laughs> this is stupid. This is stupid. But did he chew that drop shot? You can have that minnow, buddy. How about that? Should we see if she's legal? Uh, I think it's close. it's close. Just a little short. That one got a little chomp going there, but aren't they pretty? They're so cool. But I'm not keeping any fish today, so we're gonna let this. Gorgeous. Oh, there goes your lunch. Go get it. <laughs> I, don't, I don't even know what's happening right now. I should probably just be fishing with one rod. This is just stupid. Oh, chunky. There we go. Little pre-spawn male. Actually, not a bad one. That's probably about a 16 incher or so. My hands are huge, so they make it look a lot smaller. But <laughs> all right, on the drop shot again. Awesome. All right, buddy. No, we're gonna get you back. Hang on. Hang on. Oh. Bye bye. Well, now, did it eat the jig or did it eat the fly? It ate the jig. All right. Kind of a cool one-two punch I got going here, guys. I've got my jig that I'm using as my weight, and I also have a fly just above that. So we're fishing the bottom, and we're fishing about a foot off the bottom. Kind of give them the one-two punch, see what they want. Do they want the jig that's falling a little bit faster, or do they want... Robbie's rod tip in your face. It would have been okay if you caught that fish. I would have gotten over it. That way we're kind of covering a little, little more as far as presentations go. We got the jig in the minnow and we got the fly, kind of that real subtle fly just hanging above that jig. Well, that was a successful uh, little morning of fishing. <laughs> Not too bad, a lot of fish, kind of what we figured though, more numbers than size, but yep. the size will get bigger, or I should say will yeah. increase. In a couple weeks here. In a couple weeks, females will start moving up, but for action, how do you yeah, go wrong? I know, I mean, I mean we had have been close to 50 fish and I mean, that was nuts. Yeah, there's a lot of fish that you guys oh. are not going to see because there's right. just so many of them. <laughs> there's you... just so many. Yeah, so that was pretty awesome. And to see my first uh, paddle fish in person, that was cool. That was a big fish, man. Yeah, that was that a big was, one. That was cool. Very <laughs> was, cool. I love seeing those dinosaurs. But anyways, guys, uh, check out Noah's brand new YouTube channel as well. Yep. I guess it's not brand new, but it's it, been around, but uh, Madison Angling. Madison Angling also, if you want to get out uh, walleye fishing with Noah this spring, give him a call. Yep. Um, guys, I'll leave all of his information in the link below. But anyways, thanks so much for watching. It was fun getting out on the boat, and we'll see you on the next one.